All right, let's take a look at how we can add a menu to our WordPress website. In this video, I'm using Lifter LMS SkyPilot. If you're using a different theme, it might be a little bit different if you're on Astro or Cadence or another WordPress theme. So if this tutorial doesn't really make sense for the backend of your website, look up how can I edit menus in my own theme, insert your theme name, and you'll find a tutorial. But we're gonna be using Lifter LMS SkyPilot in this video, and we can see in my header, I have my site title and a link over to the dashboard. But if I want to add a menu to allow users to navigate to some other areas of my website, possibly my blog or other pages, I can do that by heading to the back end of my site under Appearance, Menus. And I wanna give my menu a name. We'll call this Lifter LMS Awesome Menu. If you have many menus on your website, like a header menu, a footer menu, a lesson menu, and you wanna create different menus for different pages, you'll want to name them appropriately so it makes sense to you on the back end what each menu is for. But in this case, I'm just going to have a menu in my header, so we'll call it Lifter LMS Awesome Menu. Over on the left-hand side, we can see different items I can add to my menu. For example, pages. I can see my, my most recent pages. I can view all or I can search up individual pages. I can check the box over here for my home page, for example. Click Add to Menu, and we can see it populate over on the right-hand side. I'm going to add a couple other pages as well. Let me add my blog, about me, contact, and dashboard. And I'm kind of arbitrarily just picking items that I want to add to my menu, but you could be a little more strategic about which items you want to add. And you can also create sub items. If you wanted to click and drag, the home page could have a few sub items that would serve as kind of a drop down. If you have a lot of items in your menu, creating sub items can help kind of make your menu look a little bit more easy to navigate. If you have multiple blog posts linked up in your menu, because we can't, we don't just have to link up pages, we could also link up blog posts. So I could add a blog post to my menu and make it a sub item under my blog as kind of a drop down. There are also Lifter LMS items linking to the dashboard page, sign in, sign out links. And if there's ever anything on the left hand side that you're missing, maybe you're watching a tutorial and the person on screen has something that you don't have. In the upper right hand corner, there's screen options. And you can check these boxes at the top and it will populate some additional items over here on the left hand side. We can see I checked the box for courses and memberships. And now I have an option for courses and memberships. If I wanted to link directly to one of my courses, I could do that in my menu, linking to my saving strategy course right there in my menu. I'm happy with the way my menu looks now. So I'm going to go ahead and save menu in the bottom right corner. And now that I've created my menu, if I look at the front end of my website, we can see that it hasn't yet populated. So we need to go a step further and add our menu to the header. So under Appearance Editor, that's where we'll enter the full site editor for the Lifter LMS SkyPilot theme. And the header is one of my template parts. Header, I'm gonna edit on my header and we see, I'll open up my list uh, view here. I like the list view because it makes it a little bit easier for me to understand what's going on in my block based setup. So I have a group and I have a row. This row has my site title in it. And then I have two buttons, one for login and one for dashboard. I'm going to add my navigation menu right below my, um, my site title here. So I just clicked on my site title and then added the navigation block. And we can see it's populating something by default here. But what I want to do is go to the right hand side and look at the settings for my navigation block. I'm going to click the three dots and I'm going to import my classic menu, Lifter LMS Awesome Menu. That's the one we just created. And we can see I have my home blog with my sub item beneath it. And to make this a little bit more clear, I'm going to go to the left side here and open up my navigation menu. We can see this is exactly what I just created under the appearance menus area. And I'm going to go ahead and save this and see what happens. Let's reload on the front end. And it looks a little bit different. So this isn't exactly what I had. And sometimes you might run into issues like what I'm running into right here, where the uh, back end isn't updating quite like the front end. So what I like to do is reorder items. So I'm going to reorder about me and contact us and save again. And then I'll reload over here. And that should fix it for me. Yep, there it goes. So sometimes you might see something funky going on in the back end. You just have to reorder an item or two, click save, and that'll frequently fix it. It's kind of a, a fix I found for the, the block editor here. So 
Now I have my menu with home, blog, and some additional items. So that's how we can add a menu in our WordPress website to make our website a little bit easier to navigate.